everyone welcome back to messy and beautiful one sarah jane thanks for joining me today for another video um, i'm going to be doing an unboxing today of the little thought store january box this video is a bit later than i anticipated um just purely because there's been quite a lot of problems with postage in my area um, and by the time it arrived i put it to one side and i forgot about it i haven't actually opened it other than to just unseal the box um ready for this video um, but just before we get started, I'm trying a new lighting setup um, today. So can you just let me know in the comments if you prefer it this way um, or if you prefer my previous videos. I don't know how much difference it's going to make to the final version, but I thought I'd give something different a try. Um, so just leave me a comment if you have a particular opinion um, and equally if you don't care, then <laughs> feel free to say that too. That's absolutely fine. Um, right, let's just get started. Let's just get stuck right in because um, we know that I will talk forever. Um, so Little Thought Store do a monthly box. You can now take it out as a subscription, whereas previously you couldn't do that. So that's something that's really different. Um, I have not signed up for a subscription um, because the minimum commitment is three months. And as I've said in my last couple of videos, I'm trying to use up my stash rather than buy more every month. Um, so I did buy this box just to see really what the difference was because there's a cost difference now to what there was before. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a moment. But I just thought I'd buy a one-off just so that you could see what the difference was um, in real terms between the previous style box and the current box. Um, so the price difference now is that it used to be £20, you get a full kit, you get the whole subscription box. Um, it's now gone up in price. I think it's £28 if you buy the full kit add-on um, and £24 if you buy um, the mini kit add-on. Now, I only bought the mini kit add-on because a lot of the extra stuff you get in a full kit, I don't necessarily use it and I couldn't quite work out what the difference was between the full kit, what you get in the box already and the mini kit. Um, so I thought it would just be a good experiment really to show you um, what was in there. Little Thought Store now also have their own website as well. So instead of ordering through Etsy, you order this through the website um, and you accumulate points and all of that sort of stuff. It's a Shopify website, so it's the same as other companies that use Shopify. But I'm sure it's been a huge milestone for um, Jodie who owns the shop and congratulations to her on getting that set up because I'm sure that there's a lot of work that has gone into that um, and the website looks great. Um, so let's just get stuck in. Um, I think that's really the only thing that I needed to tell you about um, in terms of what was different in the box. So let's just move the packaging to one side. As always, some really pretty tissue paper um, wrapping everything together. Um, I'm going to start with this because you can already see it. So this looks like it's an A5 notebook from Sparkles and Charms. got the little business card there it's a stitched notebook as well I really like that I like that they're stitched um, I just think that they hold together better it says on the front say yes to new adventures um, and it's got loads of little moons and stars on it as well I really like that um, ah and inside is thick plain white paper um, I oh wow I needed something like this um, I say needed I've been looking for something that's got some plain white paper inside because I've got a bit of a project in mind um, and a lot of my notebooks are lined or dot grid because that's what I use the most. Um, so this is really cool. Um, and that's the first thing that you get in the box. Um, and then this is the remainder of the box um, to go along with it. So let's just put that to one side. I'm just trying to decide really where to get started. Um, I'm gonna start with the, maybe I'll start with the smallest one. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the smallest one. Um, so this kit was based on um, like School of Magic. So if you're a Harry Potter th fan, um, unfortunately the box has now finished um, and we are on to a new month. So you probably would have missed out. Um, and I'm sorry about that, that I didn't get this up sooner. Um, but Oh, that's cute. A cute little mug with a silver hollow boo on the front. Um, I think it's just a die cut. It might be a die cut sticker. Yeah, so that one's a die cut sticker. Um, so that's really cute. The other reason I bought it is that I'm a massive Harry Potter fan um, and I've actually got the wonton in a million washi um, that is the Harry Potter um, themed washi and I really want an excuse to use it so this is giving me an excuse to use that up. Um, this looks like it's a packet of die cuts. Little Ouija board there. This is the other reason because it's all about books isn't it with me. Um, just think really cute. Just take you through each of these one by one. 
little bag that says trick or treat. I might keep that one for, I might keep some of these for, um, little bag there, it says trick or treat on the front. Um, I might keep some of these for Halloween as well. That's cute, little rucksack with a like little unicorn on the front. Um, and actually there's two of those in different colors. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, a little book of shadows. That's amazing. I really love that. Um, little witchy hat, potion, it's an hourglass. It looks like a little spell book. Little toadstool, crystal ball, butterflies. Those butterflies are cute. I really like those. They're really pretty. And they've got like an iridescent, like watercolour feel to them as well, which is really pretty. A little apple. The I, I don't know what they're formally called, but the little pointer thing on a Ouija board. Um, little plate with an apple on it. A little pumpkin. Another little spell book. That's cute. More mushrooms. Magic chalk. That's really sweet. Something else with a spider on it. I don't use anything with spiders on. Um, I am a huge arachnophobe, so I don't like them. I will probably get rid of that one um, and give it away. Um, just a little gemstone there. Another little Ouija board. I really like that. A little potion bottle with the butterflies in. That's really cute. And a little pink pumpkin. Um, again, I don't really use die cuts very often either, um, so give me some t hints and tips on what you do with them other than perhaps decorate the front of your planners. And we get a sheet of vellum in these boxes. Um, so, yes, here we go. All the little images that were on the um, die cuts seem to be on here, except you've got one that's got like a little lock of hair with a ribbon tied around it. Um, but that's really pretty. It's like a pastel purple colour as well. It does go really well with the notebook. Um, I don't know if that's a good light comparison so you can see the colour change in that. Um, really pretty. And then these are the sticker sheets usually. So you get, this is part of standard, little washi strips. Um, this has changed as well. I like this. So they're all different sizes and different thicknesses now so instead of just getting the longer strips um you've got lots of little ones to use which is really cool because they'll um do well over your like one and a half inch boxes if you use that style of planner like i do um they'll be really good just to decorate you know individual boxes rather than ha to have a full washi strip so that's really cool um i might try and actually jump on and use this kit when i eventually decide i'm going to use it um it will probably sit in my stash for a while as they all do um, just to show you maybe some different ways of using that wash, those washi strips or where to put them, that kind of thing. Um, so then this is a deco sheet which also comes with the kit as standard, um, which is also the same little icons as the die cuts. Um, I tend to use die cuts by just sticking them in my planner. Um, so if you ordered the standard box, this is what you would get. You would get a sheet of vellum, two sheets of stickers, the die cuts, there's loads there as well. Um, as you saw, I took you through them. Um, keep going and keep going. So there's all of those. Um, the die cut sticker from the beginning and then the A5 notebook. I don't know if this comes in every box or if this particular um, item is just the freebie for this month um, because it might change from month to month as to what you get. But I think that this is going to be pretty much a standard style kit. Um, for what you, if you ordered the subscription um, without the add-on. And then this, I'm assuming, is the add-on that I paid a little bit more for. I think it was an extra £4 and I went for a mini kit because what I really wanted was the full boxes rather than all the other bumps that went along with it, um, which is what I got, which is perfect. Um, I love this colour, this real light, um, like pastel, it's kind of, sort of like a pastel aqua. Um, it's really pretty. Um, and there are the full box stickers and then in the mini kit you get the quarter boxes and half boxes I'm sure the website explains this a lot better than I can um, this is the other thing I love about the kits from Little Thought Story you get this weekly sticker um, and I particularly like this one because it looks like a bit of old school lined paper um, like notes from uni and school and that kind of thing um, so that's really cool so um, that is probably enough for me with the deco strips and the washi strips as well as to what I would actually use in my planning. Um, I don't think that I would need necessarily a full kit every time, but it is nice to get a full kit once in a while. 
Um, so that is the full box. Um, I'll just bring those back in and then that is the kit to go along with it. Um, I definitely think it's worth getting the add-on, particularly if you use full boxes in your planning, because they are obviously quite a significant part of my planning, um, as you've probably seen from my plan with me. Um, so I definitely recommend thinking about whether you know what you actually use in your spread as to what you wanted to buy if you were going to go and grab one of these. Um, this might be my last unboxing for a little while. Um, particularly the little thought store kits because I've got to be very careful now um, with my spending as I've said in a few of my videos um, but that's not to say there won't be any hauls because I'm still allowing myself certain amounts and certain things so um, when I get hauls to show you I will show you them um, but it might be the last you know subscription box that I do for a while um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then hit the subscribe button come back and check out um, my plan with me when I do use this kit um, I don't know when I will be doing it so it might be sometime in the future um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, take care bye